Okay, so we've come over to my Facebook page, okay? And then if you go up to the top, and there's a little drop down arrow at the top here, if you just click on that, it come up with your pages, and we're gonna go to Manage Ads, Create Ad, gonna create an ad, okay? Now, um, what do you want the ad to do? So do you want to promote your page, boost a post that you've already got, or do you want to increase the post engagements? You've got options here. But what we're going to do is we're going to send people to a website. So we get the URL where we want people to go, okay, to your website or to your promotion link. I've got one here. It's a website I use for wind and solar power. So I want people to go to this page, okay? I want them to go and sign up for this page. So that's where we're going to drive the traffic to. Now you can come down here and we can see you've got Spain located here. That's where I'm living at the moment. So I don't want people from Spain looking at this. I want USA traffic. So you type in here and you scroll down the menu here. You can put in as many countries as you want, but you want to try and keep it targeted. So I've got USA and we're going to put Canada as well. Okay, and I think we're just going to leave it at those two countries for now. Then you set the age of the people you want. I'm going to go for 21 to 65. Men, women, or all of them, I'm going to go for all people. And languages, let's select English. So we only want English speaking people. You can set other uh, demographics as well, relationship stuff like that. Interest, now this is people that are going to be interested in what? Well, wind power, we want them that are interested in wind power. So you type in here, let's say wind generators, and it gives you some, as you start to type it, gives you some tips and ideas. So we want wind, let's have a look. Uh, wind turbines as well. Let's go with uh, another one. Renewable energy. That's quite a good one. Renewable energy. Um, let's go for wind energy. Wind energy. Yep, we'll have that one as well. Okay, so you can put as many of these interests as you like, but keep it on topic, obviously. Uh, keep it to what's related to the page you're sending the people to. Otherwise, they're going to get annoyed if you're sending them to some something that's really not related. Okay, so I've just done a few here to start with. So wind-related, as it's a wind site, I'm sending them to. And you've got other tr more uh, detailed lists you can choose from here. You can put in different demographics to make it really concentrated. Um, advanced connections, basically what that is, it's, it's people that are a company, you can type in a company here or a specific website or specific friends you want to target. But I'll just put it on all there. How much do you want to spend? Okay, it's show me that I can start from four euros a day. Now you want to set this is very important here, the end date. It always puts a month in there. So if you're not careful, you'll end up paying for a month on your very first advert. So let's watch the dates very carefully. So today I'm going to put it just to run for a couple of days. Just a couple of days. And if you come down the bottom here, it shows you what your spend is going to be. So it's four euros a day for a couple of days. As the day's already started, I'm only going to be charged seven euros. Okay, so I'm four euros a day. So I'm going to be charged seven euros 83 in total. So you want to make sure that's set so you can set a budget. You can put hundreds or thousands in there. You just want to set your budget to what you think. And you can always increase it or decrease it as the advert goes on. Okay, some other settings here you might want to check out as well. But basically, this is this is uh, good enough to get your advert up and running. Um, we've got other more advanced techniques. Now let's come down here, and uh, you've got to upload a photo. Now I'm just gonna that photo is not very good. I thought that one. So let's pick one from my computer. I'm gonna have a, a picture that's relevant to wind and solar power. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's have a couple here. I think you can have up to six photos. And then you can try which photos work and which ones don't. Okay, let's, uh, let's have another one here. Let's see what we got. Let's go for... That one looks okay. Okay, we're just going to... We'll go for that one. 
Okay, so they're uploading. All right, no, I don't want that one, so I'll keep that one away. So let's wait for that top road. And so we've got a couple of photos there that the advert is still going to go to the same link, but you've got different photos you can choose from. Okay, so make it interesting. If you haven't got a photo, you can get one off the internet. You can make one, you can take a photo and upload it to your computer and then just copy and paste it. Okay, <clears throat> now it's asking you to where do you want it? Now, this is why you need a Facebook page. Okay, so it doesn't send traffic to that page. To show you, I've got a wind power page. How to make wind power. It's, I've already got a wind power page. So it's coming from that, the advert's coming from that page. So if the people do go to that page, they're going to see my how to make wind power page on Facebook. But it's going to, the advert is coming from that page. So you need to set up a page related to that subject and type in a headline there of your advert. You're limited to how many uh, characters you can type in here. So free wind power plans. That's, that's precise and to the point. Then you've got a text here. You can add a little bit of text. Again, you're limited to how much text you can fit in this box. Just play around with it. See what works. See what looks good in the ad. Um, let's have a look. How to make wind power generators. Free plans to download. And a free guide. Take a look. And let's have a button, uh, a call to action button, download the plans button. You don't have to have a button, but it looks a bit more professional. So over here on the right, now that's one of my photos, and that's what the ad's going to look like. How to make wind power, download your free plans, take a look. Okay, short and sharp, to the point, catchy photograph there. It's obvious what it is, and a download button now, which when you click on that, it's going to send them to the link. It's going to send them to the website that I want them to go to, okay? Okay, the photo's still uploading now. I might delete that one in a minute. And that's the other photo. This is a preview of your advert, what it's going to look like with your photos, okay? So you've got the first photo there. And you scroll down and you've got another photo there. The advert and the text is the same. It's just the photos have changed. Some photos do a lot better than others. Um, don't have too much text on your photos because Facebook don't like lots of text on the photo um, you're limited to I think it's about 60% or 40% I can't remember offhand but try around upload several photos and see one which gets approved I don't want it to show up in a news feed I want it into the right column it's going to show up in the right column I don't want a mobile app there that's looking it's looking basic but it looks okay to show you for this uh, training video that's okay I could just place the order let's have a look what it's going to look like okay your order has been placed it takes a little while for it to be accepted sometimes it can be accepted within a minute sometimes it might take a couple of hours but it's normally accepted automatically or refused in in a short time okay let's get rid of that okay you can see there's my advert and there's my two it's in review at the moment it's, they're going to review it and I've got two images I've got image one advert and image 2 advert the other image hasn't uploaded yet um, it's probably too big so it might not get uploaded so that's my image 1 advert there and image 2 okay so we're waiting for it because it's in review and but that's basically all you need to do to go and set up an advert and if it gets uh, the first few adverts I set up did get um, denied and I wasn't quite sure why so you know you just trial and error really and here's some of the other adverts that I've run in the past this last few weeks let me just click on one to show you this is going to another website a minor link the adverts stop now and it shows you the details here so you can come and click on this once the adverts running I spent 11.74 on an ad a budget of just trying something out four euros a day and I got 135 clicks to that website and the costs were 0.09 of a euro 0.09 for each click so that's basically nothing okay and you can get it down even cheaper than that you just need to test them out see which works and which doesn't but I spent nearly 12 euros on that ad and I got 135 people click on my website which are interested in that subject Okay, and I, for me that wasn't a lot, so I, I stopped the ad running. You can get better results than that. 
Okay, so I'm just going to come over and manage the page, manage the ad. So it's still in, oh it's actually, re it's active now, look it's been accepted. The ad has been accepted and you should start seeing clicks almost straight away. And you can keep coming back to this page and see how the ad's performing and you can tweak it around, you can stop it, you can pause the ad, you can delete it if it's not working right. If it's working well and you're getting clicks then you can extend your budget, you can add more money each day or less money and just try it out really, see what works and see what doesn't work. So this is another advert I did that wasn't doing very well, I got 47 clicks for 17 cents, only spent 8, eight uh, euros and uh, 47 clicks so these this cost me a little bit more is still only 17 cents for per click so it's cheap getting people to come to your website it's not saying everyone's going to buy from you or anything but this is targeted people that are interested in what you're offering and you can you can really be specific countries hobbies gender you can really make your ad targeted so the clicks you are going to get are going to be worth having you know so you can see there some of the other results that I've had. But basically you need to just try it out, see what works. I, normally I do about three ads with two or three photos on each ad to see what they're working like. And uh, give it a couple of days to run. And if you're not getting much luck with it, cancel the ad. And you only get billed for what, for what you've actually spent. So it doesn't cost a lot start off low as well don't go stupid with you know hundreds of dollars on an ad test it slowly test it with you know ten twenty dollars to see how it goes and then you can always scale it up so that advert is now active and you can see the two photos on that site image one and image two have both been accepted the ads running I can add more images to that um, or I can stop and pause it as and when I like. So I hope that's helped. What you need to do is just play around with it and, and see how it goes.